to get one share. Article 8. Each captain has a right to value all spoils before they are divided up. That's what we all agreed to at Tortuga. Stick your name on it if you're favorable. I'm considering what... There's no denying that you know the Gold Coast better than anybody on the main. It'd be a shame for you to waste your talents up at Port Royal. And my share's always been ten. There's no arguing. Five you get. You'll nip enough out of the first two prizes to set you up for a year. What's the sense of waiting around for some lumbering merchantman? Why not hit straight for Maracaibo? It's still the richest spot on the Spanish main. Maracaibo's the plum we're after picking, my lad. Oh. I'll sign. Stick your name right there. Have a drink. I'll do my drinking in Maracaibo. Good night, gentlemen. He's got some articles in this cabin would need signing. <laughs> Get out! Get out! You can't come in here. You're so beautiful a wife, they'd think it strange if I didn't. I want to congratulate you for showing a spark of reason. You save both our eyes for the time being anyway. All you gotta do is keep on looking at me with adoring eyes. Maybe we'll get out of this in one piece. You monster! Shh! Don't love Spats Miguel. Our friends may be listening. Did you find out who the traitor is who warned these men? Oh, you're not so certain anymore. It's me, hmm? I'm certain of nothing except that I'll be murdered before I get out of this. Thanks to you. We're not dead yet, Miguel. You can't sleep here. I'm afraid I'll have to. Are you very lonesome for Jamaica? Don't shout when you answer me. Yes. And you still regard me as a beast, unfit for human society? Yes. And you're still in love with Mr. Ingram? I said, are you still in love with that darling man? Don't you dare come near me. Don't worry, Miguel. I won't. Not until you call me Jamie Boy and ask me three times. you wake me up. I'm ready to repel all borders. Sweet dreams. gets married and I forget to give him a wedding present. Oh. It's off the royal treasurer. She was on her honeymoon. Thanks for the gift, Leech. As pretty a sight as I ever see. Lawful wedlock. There's nothing like it. 
Now, that's a strange place to stick a sword right over the bride's head. Are you trying to make her uneasy? Your presence is more disturbing to Madame Waring, I assure you. Now, Jamie, you're talking different than you used to. I recall you're trading me a gallon portobello for two barrels of rum. Of course, this one's better and worth more. She's all in one piece. She got two ears, no fingers missing, worth three barrels of rum. Why don't you offer him five? Don't tempt him, darling. I might take it. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to enjoy subjecting me to every kind of embarrassment possible. No, my sweet. Now, don't be a snob. We're pulling close to Maracaibo, Leech. You're going to be little good to us if you keep laying your head in a bottle every night. I begin to think you're right, Jamie boy. I'm going to need my head more than I figured. Get out of this bed. You think it's safe? You didn't have to get in here. Very ungrateful, madam. I'm sleeping with a pistol after this. And if you come near me, I'll shoot you. There you are. I give you permission to blast my head off. I'm ever idiot enough to come within a foot of you. <laughs> <laughs>